Hi there, Uncle Laurie here, back with another shave. What are we doing today? Well, it's Sunday, so we do foreign soap shave. Foreign to us is non-Australian, of course. And we're going with Razor Rock. Razor Rock Triple X um, Fresco. So it's the same as the Razor Rock Triple X but a, bit, a little bit of menthol and camphor in it. So it's the same scent. It's a lovely, fresh, clean, it, classic um, Italian barbershop scent with citrus top notes. It's a wonderful scent. I'll, probably one of my favorite Razor Rock scents. It's based on um, Aqua de Palma Colonia Classica. All right, and the brush we're going to use it, use with it, is the Razor Rock 400 with the Plissoff Knot 24 millimeter Plissoff Knot uh, with a 55 millimeter loft. So we'll just stick that in my Super Soaker. And what else are we using? Um, we're going with a different bowl today. We're going with a plastic soup bowl. And I've, in the bottom there, I've got a... Um, you can buy these shower grips. You can put them in the bottom of your shower to stop you slipping. I put one in there just to help with the agitation and also hold the soap. Um, the razors we're using we're using a leaf for most of the shave with two blades in the set in the first position and the second position. And we're using the sunny blade. This one. The DE blades. And we're also using the, the twig just for uh, under the nose here. So let's get to and put the pre-shave on. And the pre-shave we're using is the Suvetico. So I'll put that on. That's it. Inside it's just a cream. Lightly methylated peppermint cream. Or maybe the menthol is coming from the peppermint, probably. Just rub it in, cleans the skin, repairs the beard. So I leave it on on my face while I um, prepare the lather. We'll build the leather, which we'll do right now. So we'll go over there. Okay, we've got everything ready here. We've got just under half a teaspoon of soap in there, which will be about probably two grams. So I'll just push it out with my spatula. It's a typical cropy soap. So I'll just spread that around in that non-slip area. That's it. it. Actually the bowl only just fits in the camera. So I'll put that away over there. I've already got the, the water in the syringe ready to go. So we just get the brush. It's all wet at the moment. I'll give it a couple of big shakes we'll go ahead and start the leather I find this starts up a, quite bubbly but don't worry about that it will make a nice leather
So we just gather up all the soap into a paste. Not having a handle makes it harder for me to do the camera work. But just to show that you don't need to spend much money on a leathering bowl, you can just use a recycled soup bowl. Because this latchy bowl I picked up for free. They were uh, access to requirements from a restaurant. So I picked a few of them up. So we'll start adding water. So from this point onward, I'll speed things up. A bit more water than I expected. I used 25 mil on that uh, build. So, quite a thirsty soap. And I was, didn't even use a half a teaspoon, about two grams I used. So this could easily use um, a quarter. So put it on my face, just have a look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? This is a lovely brush. I'll call the scent strength about 6 out of 10, I would call it. It's quite a solid scent coming off, filling up the bathroom, maybe even 7 out of 10. Yeah, I'll call it 7 out of 10. It's really wafting around my face, lovely. Before I get into the shave, I'll put in the um, ingredient list and scent profile here. It's a lovely scent. It's got um, bergamot, orange, lemon, orange blossom and menthol in the top. I don't get a lot of menthol, just a little bit. So I don't have any cooling effect yet, maybe on the second pass. Okay, I can smell it in the scent. So there's a little bit of menthol or camphor. Alright, uh, I'll just put a bit of 
and I'm on my fingers. Get the leaf. Just light pressure to engage the head. You don't need a lot, just very light pressure. Now under the nose, I go across. I've got a three day spray. And it's having no trouble with it. There's no clogging, as you can see. But I've got a well hydrated leather. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, I can feel the cooling effect of the menthol now. Lovely. Give it a leather drop here, or not waste that. Lovely leather. Nothing wrong with the razor rock soaps. At least from my point of view. Now, as far as I understand, Razor Rock don't make these their soaps. Um, they use uh, various Italian artisans to make um, soaps to their specifications. What I know is the Sung Fung Sing. I don't think this is a Sung Fung Sing soap though. But this one has tallow in it. And it doesn't look like a Sung Fung Sing recipe. Oh, it's it was lovely on my skin. Took longer than <laughs> necessary for that. Again with the alum. This handle can get a bit slippery. I see a lot of shavers who have this, have the extra uh, rubber grip that you can put sleeve, that you can put over the top. For me, I don't think it's necessary. As long as I put a bit of alum on my fingers, I'm fine. Okay, it's wonderful. We'll go across the other way this time. Oh, it's a wonderful shape. It's got lovely slickness, primary and secondary are good.
Right, if you're in Australia, you can pick up um, Razor Rock Soaps from um, BS Hold. If you're in America, you can probably um, pick it up from Italian Barber or um, I think the, some you can get some from the Razor Company as well. They're not very expensive. Uh, well, this one, oh, this is a different one. This is a, a big glass jar one. It's got 200 millilitres of soap in there, which is probably about 150 grams. It'll last forever. Nice close shave. This razor is just gliding out of the face. It's got really lovely slickness. I'll get that with a twig. Like plenty of residual. My hands, it's really built up, it's really sliding. Lovely. I think razor rock soaps are a bit underrated from my point of view. I mean, you don't see them, a lot of them in shaver days. All right, uh, let's do the pickups. Not that I have a lot. It's a wonderful scent. Okay, we've got the twig now. Just front of the nose. In the nostril area.
Wonderful. Yeah, that's really good. Okay, we'll get under the jawline. With the leaf. Oh, yeah, the leaf. <laughs> Getting confused here. If you don't have hairs growing up underneath your nostrils, you probably don't need, you could you probably use the, the leaf. Very smooth. Could be getting a BBS here, which is pretty rare. But not uncommon for the leaf for me. I won't get in it. Oh, it's a bit there. Well, that's wonderful. Smooth as silk. Yeah, that's wonderful. I don't feel any irritations. Maybe just a touch there, but we'll check the Allen block and see what it says. So we give it a rinse. Back down. Well, that's about as close to a BBS that I normally get. So there's a few tingles just around that area there. Same on the other side. Cheeks are fine. Yeah, both cheeks are fine. Just a little bit around that area there. Only a 1 out of 10 though, not talking about major stinging. 1 2 out of 10 in those two areas. Otherwise it's a wonderful shave. I don't see any weepers. We've got plenty of leftover leather. Look at that. So I will grab a big amount of leather. I'm using it as a face wash and I'll go and have my shower and come back with the post shave. Alright, back from that shower. Oh very close shave. I will call it a BBS, at least that's the closest I get to a BBS. Yep, beautiful, absolutely beautiful shape. No weepers, no irritations, wonderful. All right, so start with our post shave. Bit of witch hazel, menthol crystals, and uh, tea tree oil. I haven't got any, this is a new batch. There's no peppermint oil in this one. So I get a more earthy, woody scent from the tea tree and the witch hazel. That's wonderful. Nice cooling effect from the menthol. Beautiful. 
Then we're going with the Lucky Tiger Vanishing Cream. Slowly going down. Again, this has got menthol, just a small amount of menthol and eucalyptus. Splashed on during the shave. Oh, what's the ceiling cap? Mmm, wonderful. Oh, it's wonderful. Mmm, spread it out around. Love that stuff. <laughs> well, that's my show for today. Thank you all for watching, and we'll catch you on my next show, which won't be for a couple of weeks as I'm going on holidays. So, we'll catch you then. Cheers.